present. I just want an ice cream. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 things in Bluey only adults understand. If grown ups go from babies and only grown ups have babies, who had the first baby? For this list, we'll be looking at the best pop culture references, jokes, and slice of life moments that make this Aussie cartoon more than just a kid's show. Do you love Bluey even more than the kids? Share your favorite moment in the comments. Number 10, Raiders. You ready? Yeah! Okay, go! Again! The healer parents know how to have fun with their kids, and Bandit in particular can often get carried away with a game. Did I make that a little too fun? Yes. Yeah, you did. Sorry, Squirts. It's a hard one to get right. In Yoga Ball, Bingo and Bluey ask for an old favorite. For the girls, it's just running away from a ball. But to their dad, it's Raiders. Can we just quickly play that game where we run down the hall? And you sing, da na na na! And you roll the ball down the hall. And we jump out of the way. Oh, you mean Raiders. Yeah! As an 80s kid, Indiana Jones is firmly within Bandit's frame of reference. The adult audience will recognize the nod to Raiders of the Lost Ark even if it goes over the kids' heads. It's a throwaway reference, but a perfect fit for Bandit's fun dad persona. Not too quick, though. I want you to play for this long. Okay, fair enough. Hooray! Number 9, the 80s references in the flashback episode. This story set a long, long time ago in a place called the 80s. That's me when I was 10 years old. A lot of younger parents will have missed the 80s altogether, but that doesn't mean they didn't grow up in a different climate than their kids. Hang on, where's your helmet? This was the 80s, man. There were no helmets. It was a wild place. There are definitely moments in the flashback episode fairy tale that will still strike a chord. If you remember cassette tapes or know exactly what happens when you break a jinx, this one's bound to stir up some nostalgia. Haha, -ha, made you look your daddy truck. truck! Jinx. Huh? What's jinx? Okay, in the 80s, if two people said the exact same word at the exact same time, like, <laughs> one of you would yell out, jinx. You might even recognize the She-Ra costume worn by young Chili. If it is young Chili, there's some dispute. Bandit Hila, is this your hat? Is that Mum? That's Mum. What? Don't listen to him, it wasn't me. Don't listen to her, it was. Placing Bandit in Chili's childhood specifically in the 80s is a treat for parents of the era, giving them a chance to relive some memorable experiences. See you later. Yeah. See you later. Number eight, generational differences. Ready, kids? I'll just close my eyes. Ah, uh, Pat, no. You have to stop on each kid once. What? Why? So everyone gets a prize. Bluey's Pass the Parcel episode has a straightforward message for kids about learning to be a good loser. However, it proved controversial in adult circles. I want to play it the proper way. None of this present in every layer business. Put one big present in the middle. Winner gets that. Well, what about everyone else? We'll have to suck it up. That's not how it's done anymore, Pat. I'm putting my foot down, Janelle. So which side do you fall on? Is one big present in the center better for character building? So I don't get a present? No, because just like in real life, you... <laughs> or should you put a treat in each layer so everyone can win a little? Lucky's dad thinks that the world's gone soft, while the rest of the parents are more willing to embrace the changing times. The episode itself seems to indicate that kids are tougher than they look, and they'll learn to love Lucky's dad's rules. I'm sorry you didn't win past the parcel, Bingo. It's okay, I don't mind. Really? Yeah. When Leela is happy, I'm happy. Oh, Bingo. Maybe next time. You know what, Bingo? I think you're getting quite good at losing. But does every party game have to teach a lesson, or is it just supposed to be a bit of fun? Number 7. What's in the lemonade? And the ladies watch us get all sweaty. Right, ladies? You got it, Lucky's dad! Yay! Yeah! Yeah! The grown-ups in Bluey are great parents, and they're also likably human. 
if you ignore the fact that they're cartoon dogs. In Stumpfest, Bluey learns that adults like to play too, while we discover that Chili and Trixie can certainly handle their drinks. Chili! Oh, leave him alone! What? They're just trying to run a small business! Go and destroy the planet somewhere else! The moms watch from upstairs, enjoying some refreshing lemonade, while the dads play at ripping up tree stumps. The ladies heckle them from the upstairs balcony, appearing tipsier by the minute while the central saga of Stumpfest vs. Nail Salon plays out on the ground. Oh, leave that poor stump alone! You're the one who wanted it gone! Oh yeah, that's true. I want to put it in a fish pond. Oh. Boo! Save our stump! Save our stump! Okay, the optics on this aren't good. When Bandit and Co. break for a well-earned drink, they discover that there's something potent in that lemonade. To stump fast! Woohoo! <laughs> Number six, New Year's Hangover. Oh man. I don't ever want to leave this couch. Where are the kids? They're on the phone to Muffin. Oh, happy New Year's. Phew! I do not have the energy for games today. It's been a big New Year for the Healer parents. After a party at Uncle Stripe's place, they're feeling a bit fragile, if you know what we mean. But parenthood never stops, and the girls still want to play. You're already on the floor! Sorry, I haven't got it in me today. Are you sick? Uh, no, just, um, uh... Sleepy. Rough seas are not what you want when you're feeling, well, rough, and seeing the typically energetic mom and dad's longing for calm is pretty amusing. It's also likely to be relatable for many adults. All aboard! Oh, Bluey, that's too loud. At least the whale game involves lying down, and, on Chili's part, wolfing down some hangover treats. These are very bad for you, okay, kids? Only whales should eat these. Oh, so good. Still, we all need a break sometimes, and a bit of screen time proves the perfect temporary distraction for Bluey and Bingo. Plus, it gives Chili the exact boost she needs. Number five, Stranger Things talk. Oh, I hope they bring you back for season four. Yeah, they do. The majority of the primary storylines in Bluey focus on the children, and most of the adult drama revolves around them, too. However, occasionally you do catch snippets of grown-up conversations that have nothing to do with the little ones. I see what you're saying. I just don't agree. How can you not agree? Are you two squabbling? One second, Bluey. If you attach the bin to the door, it means I have to deal with the bin bags. One of our favorite examples of this is in the Season 2 episode Seesaw. Chili and Pom Pom's mom are talking all things TV. The character and show under discussion both remain unnamed, but we're pretty certain that this is a Stranger Things reference. Haven't you seen the trailer? No? What trailer? He's in Russia or something. Guess now that we know what the healers are watching when the kids are in bed, and we're not surprised they have great taste. What do you want to watch tonight, babe? Do you watch TV after we go to sleep? Bluey! Number four, it was yesterday. Mom, look, I'm eating my pumpkin seeds. Hooray! And Granddad's resting. Hooray. As well as making us laugh, this kid show really knows how to tug at the heartstrings. In Granddad, Chili and the girls are visiting Grandpa Mort. Chili worries that her dad doesn't look after himself properly, but he's not impressed by her coddling. Mom wants you to rest so your thumbs get better? Yeah, probably. Then why don't you? Well, it should be up to me. They're my thumbs. The episode tackles the relationship between grown-up children and their parents and definitely feels aimed more at the adult audience than their preschoolers. I'm his daughter. He should take care of himself for me because I still need him. The final scene is absolutely touching capable of bringing a tear to the eye, especially if it catches you off guard. Sitting with her father and watching the girls swim, Chili gets nostalgic. Her dad used to bring her to the same place as a child, but it doesn't seem so long ago to Mort. I remember when you used to take me swimming here. Yeah, me too. That was a long time ago. No, it was yesterday.
Number three, the vasectomy conversation. It was all pretty quick, really. It was just in and out, and I even got to keep them. In another one of those background conversations between the grown-ups, we catch an interesting tidbit of information from Bandit. In a chat with Fido at a Father's Day barbecue, the two dads appear to be discussing the pros and cons of getting the snip. Do you want a boomerang, Fido? No, my boomerang supplies are plentiful. Well, what am I going to do with this boomerang? Since they're dogs, presumably the official term is neutered. Chili may be unsure about such a big decision, but by the next episode, it seems she's made her mind up. Why are you crying? Oh, it's just this room, sweetheart. How does a room make you cry? In bedroom, the family are clearing out the old nursery. In the U.S. broadcast, however, the conversation between the dads was subtly altered so that they're discussing having teeth removed instead. But I love my dog teeth. I don't know. What if one day I just want to bite someone? Number two, parental guilt. Well, she'll get there one day. But am I better than her on this day? Bluey, just run your own race. Huh? What does that mean? Bluey is great at tackling serious topics in a gentle but informative way that kids will be able to understand. However, on occasion, it speaks directly to the adults. In Baby Race, Chili looks back to her early days as a mother. When Bluey doesn't progress as quickly as the other babies, a touch of parental guilt sets in. Judo had won the baby race. Ow, oh, biscuits. Were you upset with me that I lost the baby race? No, sweetie. Look, we were all learning to do things for the first time. I just felt like I was doing everything wrong. Just when Chili's feeling at her lowest, someone more experienced is right there, ready to give her some encouragement. When Coco's mom looks right at the camera, it feels like she's speaking to all the parents at home who might be struggling or doubting themselves. Wow. You must have learned a thing or two. I have. And there's something you need to know. What? You're doing great. Her kind words might be simple, but they could be exactly what someone needs to hear. Are they happy tears, Mum? Yeah, happy tears, honey. From then on, I decided to run my own race. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Free and easy days. Bandit speaking hilarious facts. Dad, this isn't fair. I am not dad. I am Magic Claw. Magic Claw has no children. His days are free and easy. <sighs> Restful games. Lying on a couch or sofa is preferred. Get out to me! Oh, man. Is there some game where I just lie really still on a comfy bed or something? Hospitals! <laughs> Oh, not a hospital. When I used to be cool. Does it feel like a long time ago? But how are we going to take a photo without the tablet? Ah, leave that to me. This is all my stuff from when I used to be cool. Ah, here it is. Bandit clearly watched The Lord of the Rings. Gandalf the Blue? Uh, you shall not pass. <laughs> Oof. That was easy. Me. <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Chili's Implied Miscarriage Bluey, checklist. Oh, okay. I have a little cry. Check. Then I pick myself up. Check. Dust myself off, check, and keep going. The show must go on. The writing in Bluey can be very subtle for a show aimed mostly at preschoolers. It often drops hints about family life that are picked up on in later episodes, or that help round out the world with a bit of extra information. This was before she was a mom, in the olden days. <laughs> for example, some viewers think that Granddad Bob may be suffering from dementia. Another blink-and-you'll-miss-it moment implies that Chili may have lost a baby before Bluey. The girls are putting on a show of their parents' life together, and Bingo wears a balloon under her shirt to indicate pregnancy. Bluey! I haven't ruined the show yet! Good one, Bingo! Well, I'm enjoying this very much. When the balloon pops, there's a tense moment and Bandit grabs Chili's hand. It's brief, but the inclusion of this unexpected reaction seems to suggest a possible miscarriage. Do you agree with our picks? 
check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.